The new STP Magis generation of tool presetting and measuring systems has revolutionized the value of entry-level tool measurement. As for all the Speroni tool presetting and measuring systems, the structure of the Magis is completely made of aged paralytic cast iron in order to guarantee the best thermal stability. In comparison to most other presetter designs, the homogeneous structure of the Magis resolves all of those issues one encounters on systems which use light alloys and or granite that have different unstable reactions to changes in temperature and the environment. A large surface of recirculating ball bearings are utilized to ensure accuracy of movement as well as hardened and precision ground Schneeberger guideways are present on the horizontal X and vertical Z axes. Movement of the optical carriage is conducted by an ergonomic handle for an extremely smooth motion along the X and Z axes with a simultaneous locking mechanism. Additional ergonomic fine adjust hand wheels along the whole axis range of travel allow for micrometric movement. One of the central components of any presetter is the spindle. The Speroni Integral Spindle is supplied with a precision ground referencing notch for the fast and easy recalibration of the system. The Magis is supplied with a pneumatically activated spindle disc brake system which allows for the operator to lock the spindle at any point in a 360 degree rotation. This guarantees the correct and stable positioning of the tool for measurement. The innovative Magis Control delivers all of the needed measuring features and functions in a user-friendly, clean and trouble-free single screen user interface. Before you attempt to measure your first tool of the day, it's best practice to reference the scales to the spindle. Doing this helps ensure you receive accurate and precise measurements. First, move the vision arm down and forward towards the spindle, rotating the spindle so that the reference notch displays on the monitor. Clean off dirt and debris using cleaning putty. Next, be sure to focus the notch by manually rotating the spindle until the red bar graph increases to a full green. Once you have successfully focused the notch, click on the zero referencing procedure icon in the lower left corner and confirm your adapter is ISO 50. Your values should now appear exactly as they are stamped on the hand wheel. Now you are ready to measure tools. Now that you are referenced correctly, you can measure commonly used tools such as Big Kaiser's single point finish boring tool. Start by inserting the tool into the spindle. Move vision arm by depressing the rapid X and Z buttons so that the tool tip is in view of the measuring window. Manually rotate the tool to focus cutting edge. Vision bar will show green when it's in focus. Once the tool is in focus, you will see the tool's maximum length and diameter via the dynamic crosshairs. Use the quick measure icons in the lower left to verify radius and angle measurements. It is important to verify critical features of your tooling in order to prevent unnecessary scrap caused by improper grinds or tool damage. The next common tool used in any shop is an end mill, such as Big Kaiser's Full Cut Rough Milling Cutter. Again, start by inserting the tool into the spindle. Move vision arm by depressing the rapid X and Z buttons so that the tool tip is in view of the measuring window. Manually rotate the tool in the spindle to focus on the single cutting edge. Or to measure the entire cutting path of the tool, click to engage the Max P icon in the top right, and the gray shadow shows your active tool, while the black shadow shows your maximum profile. You can also visually inspect the cutting edges of your tools to ensure that you're not seeing any cracks, chips, major wear, or built up edge. Simply move your cutting tool tip into the vision window and engage the front light feature by adjusting the intensity of the light source. Damaged tooling leads to bad finished parts, and the ultimate purpose of the Speroni Magis is to help the operators make good decisions about their tooling.